So I was going through my Easter stash and I came across these wood Easter eggs. I had seven of them and I believe I got them from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint all seven of them with some Wise Owl black paint. Now you can really pick any color of your choice, whatever matches your decor. And I'm going to give them all a really good coat. Next, I got this fabric from Dollar Tree as well. They have a bunch of different fabrics. And I have this little circle ring that I also got in a three pack from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to trace the ring on the back side of my fabric. And then I'm going to cut that out. Now the circle that I'm going to be using was 8 inches in diameter. If you cannot find the wooden rings, you can also just use a piece of wood that is in the shape of a circle. I'm going to add some hot glue around the wooden ring. Now my hot glue gun gets pretty hot, so I'm able to go around the entire thing with a thin layer of the glue before it dries. And I'm going to lay that down onto the fabric so that the fabric is covering and sitting on top of the wood ring. And then I'm just going to paint the outer edge of the ring with some Wise Owl black. And I'm going to let everything fully dry. Once my Easter eggs were dry, I'm then going to take some Wise Owl Snow Owl and a chip brush. And I'm just going to do a very small amount of the Snow Owl on the brush and dry brush the white on top of the black. So I still want some of that black to poke through. I'm then going to place all seven of the eggs into a circle and try to get this as even as I can. And then I'm going to glue the fabric ring on top of the Easter eggs. Now I'm just adding a thin layer of the hot glue and I'm going to place that right in the center, making sure that the wood ring comes in contact with each Easter egg. I'm going to flip it so the back side is facing up. Now this is going to need a stronger hold. So I just took some popsicle sticks, cut them in half, and I placed them to connect each Easter egg together. Now I'm going to flip it back the other way. Now we've made our Easter eggs into petals. I have this cute little bee that I got from Michael's. And I'm going to add that in the bottom right corner here. I have this galvanized welcome word that I got from Dollar Tree. I like it in the silver, but it kind of blends in. So I'm just going to add some Wise Owl white primer onto my word. The primer is going to allow the paint to adhere a little better and won't chip as easily. Once the primer is dry, I'm going to go on top of it with some Wise Owl Goldenrod. I'm going to allow that to fully dry and then I'm going to glue the welcome across the center of the flower. And there you go. Now we have this cute welcome flower. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.